when I uh, read that script, I was, I was blown away by the enormity of it. Like, Ep 10 is a big is a big episode. The meeting of Miles and Monroe, the meeting of of, of Charlie and her mother, of Rachel. There's so much uh, emotion that's bubbling up in that episode. It permeates through episode 111 also, and ends on a on a note which will have. I think the audience is sort of gasping. Well, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of questions uh, in this show. Uh, there are big ones and there are small ones. There's obviously the big one about the uh, the power, why it went off, or why it went out in the first place, and that quest for it. That is part of the mythology that will keep unfolding, and um, there are a lot of twists and turns as you know, only JJ and Eric can sort of do. Um, but uh, there's also, we start to really bleed into the, the minds of, of, of the characters as they relate to each other. The, the group that is now formed is the complete group of, uh, of their heroes. It is uh, all parties involved. And we start to see the relationships between these people as they meet each other for the first time. Now, there's history uh, amongst these people. There's a history with Aaron and, um, and Rachel. There's history also with Miles and Rachel, there's obviously history with Miles and Nora. When you put all these guys in the same melting pot, it gets interesting just to see how these characters clang and um, sort of combine with each other. Eric has often said that it's it's all about, it's becoming the namesake, it's becoming the revolution. We start to bleed out, because we're pretty much contained within the Monroe Republic and we see one style of life in, a, in an environment that is controlled almost maniacally by, uh, by General Monroe. Um, we start to bleed out from those borders into Georgia, into the Plains Nation, into these places that were formerly parts of the United States, and we see what the blackout means to these people, how it's affected different cultures in different areas. And so, like, like any, any country that is newly forming, we start to see uh, the wars, the interfactional wars and the fighting and so on that goes on across what was formerly the United States. He bleeds the world right out, so it's, it's incredibly expansive. The, um, the stakes therefore get higher, the casualties are greater, um, and the scope for drama is obviously exponential. So.